Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Line Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I will be fighting a 1,750-point battle between my Gene Steeler cult and Harris's Corn Demons. So the story that we've got going on here is that there was a demonic incursion on this planet. Uh, and unfortunately, this planet was also under the sway of a Gene Steeler cult, uh, a Gene Steeler cult. Um, pretty poor poor planet <laughs> they really drew the short straw on the luck with that with with this planet but uh what did come to be is that the uh the, G the gene stealer cult realized that if the if the demons uh, were left to just run rampant on this planet, uh, there would be no uh, nothing left for their four-armed emperor to come down and uh, consume and bring them back into enlightenment. So they realized they had to fight back to try to destroy the demons before they ruin this planet uh, that they are preparing for their masters to arrive. They're so, eco yeah, eco-friendly gene stealers. They're trying to preserve the uh, they're trying to preserve the biomass for the tyrannids to consume. Uh, so we are going to be playing. That's the story that we got going on here. Steelers. Green Stealers. There we go. Green Stealers. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that is uh, that's the story that we've got going on. We're going to be playing the Vital Intelligence mission from uh, Chapter Approved. So essentially, there are five objectives that are numbered. Um, the fill face is going to be number one, may as well. And then uh, what we're going to have is at the beginning of each uh, round, we roll a die. Whoever's going first is going to roll a die, and they are going to determine which of these objectives is activated. Uh, whichever one's activated is worth two points at the end of the turn. Whichever ones are not activated are worth one point at the end of the turn for controlling. Um, so it's basic stuff. And on a six, all five are active, so that can really sway a game. It's kind of crazy. So it'll be fun. Um, so uh, that is the story. That is the mission. Before we go any further, though, let's show you the two armies. So for the Gene Stealers, I'll be running a Battalion Detachment and a Vanguard Detachment. Leading off the Battalion Detachment, we have a Primus and a Magus. We have three squads of Acolyte Hybrids, one 10-man squad with two heavy rock saws, one 5-man squad with two heavy rock saws, and one 6-man squad with two rock cutters. We have two armored sentinels with las cannons. We have a rock grinder with a clearance incinerator and demo charges. We have a Goliath truck and a Colt Lehman Russ with a battle cannon, las cannon, and heavy bolter sponsons. Then for the Vanguard Detachment, leading it off, we have an Abominant. We have a 14-man Pure Strain Squad. And we have two seven-man Aberrant Squads, one with picks, one with hammers. So for the Demons, he'll be running a Battalion Detachment, a Vanguard Detachment, and a Spearhead Detachment. Leading off the Battalion Detachment, we have a Bloodthirster of Unfettered Fury with the Armor of Scorn. We have a Skullmaster, and we have Karnak. We have three squads of bloodletters, one 30-man squad and two 10-man squads. The 30-man squad has the banner of blood, and all three have musicians, and the other two 10-mans just have the regular banners. So for the Vanguard Detachment, leading it off, we have two bloodmasters. We have two 5-man squads of flesh hounds, a squad of four blood crushers. Then for the Spearhead Detachment, we have a Corn Demon Prince with wings, dual malefic talons, and warp bolter. And last but not least, we have three Skull Cannons. All right, so those are the armies going over deployment for the Gene Stealer Cult. I've got my six-man squad of Acolytes in the building over here. I've got my truck with the ten-man squad of Acolytes inside. I've got my armor, one of my armored sentinels here. I've got my 14 pure strains up in the building here. Uh, or kind of like in the front area over here. We've got the rock grinder, which has the five-man squad with the uh, with the heavy rock saws inside. We have my Lehman Russ, and we have my other armored sentinel. In deep strike reserve, I've got my abominant, the two aberrant squads, the Primus, and the Magus. Uh, going over deployment now for the uh, corn demons. We've got the two two of the uh, the skull cannons over here. We've got the demon prince, the third skull cannon. We've got an eleven man squad. I know I, I said ten man squads. They're actually eleven man squads um, of blood letters over here. We've got uh, Karnak down up there. We've got the bloodthirster. We've got one of the squads of the um, flesh hounds. We've got the blood crushers as well as the skull master. We've got the other squad of um, hounds over here and the other 11-man squad of uh, dude bros over here. 
This is one of the uh, the Bloodmasters in uh, reserve. He has, uh, or in the warp, I don't know how they word it, but whatever. Reserves, basically, Deep Strike Reserves in the warp. We have his 30-man uh, squad of Bloodletters and the other uh, Bloodmaster. A lot of blood. It'll be fun. So hit skulls and bloods everywhere. Wow. So that's how it goes. <laughs> uh, as of right now, uh, the Gene Stealer Cult are going to be first because uh, the way these missions work is that uh, whoever doesn't choose the deployment um, uh, deploys their entire army first, which I did, and they go first unless my opponent can seize the initiative. Looking for a six. Does not get it. So we will come back to you after a movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. And the active objective this turn is going to be two. All right, movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. This squad stayed still where they were. My armored Sentinel over here stayed still. My Lehman Rust stayed still. This armored Sentinel moved up to jump onto the objective. My uh, my uh, Pure Strains advanced. So did my Rock Grinder. So did my Goliath truck. And that is it for the movement phase. So we'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, start off the shooting phase. My Lehman Russ is going to fire his two heavy bolters into the blood letters over here, and he's going to fire the battle cannon and the last cannon into his uh, skull cannon. Uh, yeah, skull cannon. I got it right. Hey, over there. So we're going to start with the two heavy bolters. So we're going to have six shots uh, hitting on fours. All righty. Getting three hits. Strength five, toughness four. So looking for threes. Oh, T3. So looking for threes. All right, so that's going to be one, two, three, uh, three wounds. AP minus one. They don't care. So looking for a five up uh, invul save. Two are dead. All right, so the battle cannon, uh, because of grinding in advance, is going to have two D6 shots into his uh, skull cannon over there. So it's going to be two D heavy two D6, getting 11 shots. All right, so these are going to be 11 shots hitting on fours. All righty. Seriously, not great there. All right. So he's going to be strength eight, toughness seven. So looking for threes to wound. Getting one, two, three, four, five at AP minus two. Five ups. Five ups. Uh, one. Making one of them. So that's going to be four D3 damage. Four D3 damage. Getting uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine damage. And he is dead, and that's first strike. All right, so my armored sentinel here is going to fire into his other blood cannon there, uh, skull cannon. <laughs> I got his blood and his skulls confused. Uh, these are going to be, <laughs> I blooded his skulls. Uh, these are going to be uh, one shot hitting on fives because he moved. Nope, no hit. This guy here is going to shoot into his bloodthirster over there. Hitting on a four because he didn't move. Nope. All right, so now he's going to fire his uh, clearance incinerator into them. He, uh, it's assault D6, so D6 auto hits. Getting four auto hits. These are going to be uh, strength five, toughness four, so threes to wound. Uh, getting whoa, two wounds, AP minus one. They don't care about that, I don't think, right? Oh, four. They do care because they've got a three up armor. Well, no, it's four up armor, so it'll be five up. Four up armor becomes so five up, so it's yeah, like their care. demon safe. It doesn't care. Demon safe, let's go. Uh, yeah. Not making either of them one damage a piece. Cool. All right, so now my pure strains are going to charge in the assault phase into his declaring his hounds and his uh, blood crushers. So he needs a seven inch charge to get into the blood crushers. He needs a six inch charge to get into the hounds. Uh, eight inches gets him in. All right, so now my pure strain is getting into combat with his uh, blood crushers over there. So we're going to have 56 attacks because they've got four attacks each um, since there's more than 10 of them there. Uh, and there's 14 of them, so it's 56. These are going to be 30 attacks here, hitting on threes. We'll come back to you with that. All right, these are now going to be wounding on fours. Uh, sixes will be AP minus four, but it doesn't matter for him because he has a five-up invul save, and his four-up armor is going to be ignored anyway um, with his uh, with the minus one that their base is here. So basically looking for four ups just at all. We'll come back to you with that. All right, so 12 wounds onto him here. These are going to be uh, 12 five-up saves. Uh, they're, they're four wounds apiece here. Um, so here we go. Five ups, making three of them. So that means that there's going to be nine wounds put out there. All right, and the other 26 attacks going in here, hitting on threes. Come back to that. And wounding on fours. And seven five ups, uh, making two of them. So that means five wounds. Oh, that's the squad. 
All right, so that's the end of the dark, uh, the dark angel, the gene stealer cult turn here. So I did not, <laughs> I did not consolidate over here uh, because I didn't feel like giving him extra swings over there. So uh, that is going to be, uh, and I don't think. I don't know. They might shoot him. They might not. But I didn't feel like giving him some free swings. I think that was worse for Corn Army. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the um, for the Corn Demons here on turn one. Movement phase for the Corn Demons here on turn one. His skull cannon stood still. Uh, his little Ghibli's here decided to ring around the Rosie. His uh, his Demon Prince. Uh, his Bloodthirster here moved up within it uh, with uh, just outside of an inch of my uh, dude bro over here. Uh, his two squads of uh, Hounds and his Skull Master and Karnak all uh, got around so they can have a one inch charge into my Pure Strains. Uh, this 11 man squad over here moved up looking on my truck and so and the followed behind them with the Blood Master. Yes. Uh, and that is it for the movement phase for the Corn Demons here on turn one. We'll come back to you uh, with the shooting phase. All right, so he is going to use his lash in the shooting phase to attack my pure strains over here. So it's uh, D3, shots. D3 shots, so it's going to be two shots. Twos. Hitting on twos. That is going to be two, two, two uh, hits. Threes. Threes to wound. Getting two wounds. Minus three AP. Minus three AP, so five up in vol saves. Made neither of them. The first skull cannon here is going to fire into my sentinel. He's within range of the demon prince over there. So re-rolling ones. So it's going to be four shots. These are going to be uh, hitting on threes to hit. Uh, re-rolling one. So nope, not meant to be. So that's three hits. Strength eight. So looking for uh, threes to wound. Uh, getting all wounds. AP minus two. So it's going to be uh, three five up saves. Making none of them. D3 damage. D three damage. Uh, one, three, two, four, five. five. That should be enough, I think. No. I'm a liar. He is alive with one wound left. And now he, uh, his demon prince is going to shoot shoot his warp bolter into my dude bro over there. So it's going to be hitting on twos, getting two hits. I need those on the wound. Wounding ball. on fives, uh, getting okay. two wounds. Minus one. AP minus one. So looking for four up saves. Uh, making one, I'm going to spend a command point to re-roll that. No, failed. So he is dead. And that is first strike. And now the other uh, skull cannon is going to fire into my Lehman Russ over here. So D6 shots. Getting five shots. Hitting on threes. No re-rolls here. Um, so that is going to be four hits. Strength eight. So four to a wound. Getting one wound. AP minus two. So looking for a five up save. Nope, failed it. D3. D3 damage. One. One damage. All right, assault phase. These guys had a one inch charge, so they're all going to be in over here. All right, so now his uh, blood letters here are going to charge into my Goliath truck. So we're going to fire Overwatch. We've got the twin, uh, the twin auto cannon here hitting on sixes. Uh, getting nothing there. We got the twin, uh, the heavy stubber. Getting nothing there, and then we've got the cache of demo charges in there. So we're gonna have six shots from this one. These are going to be looking for sixes to hit. And getting no sixes, cool. All right, their charge distance eight inches. is eight inches. And now the Bloodmaster is gonna charge in. He's in with a nine. And now the Bloodthirster is gonna charge into my Rock Grinder. So we've got the Clearance Incinerator. That's gonna be four hits. Strength five, toughness seven. So looking for fives to wound. Uh, getting one wound, AP minus one. Four up save. Four up save. No, it takes a Six wound. Up no Six up, feel no pain. No, it takes a wound. Then the heavy stubber on sixes, getting one hit, getting no wound. And then the cache of demo charges, getting five shots here. These are going to be hitting on sixes. Getting one hit, strength eight, so wounding on a three. No, no wound there. I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that. No. All right, so starting off, his squad over here is going to attack into my pure strain. So we've got 10 attacks from those dogs, or 15 attacks from the dogs. They've got three attacks each. So these are going to be um, hitting on uh, threes. Threes. Hitting on threes. All right, we'll come back to you with that. All right, these are going to be strength five, so threes to wound. All righty. So 
We've got um, one, two, three, four wounds. Not great. Four or five up invul saves. Uh, making two of them, so two dead. All right, so I'm going to spend two command points to interrupt over here with my pure strains. So we're going to put two guys into this squad over here. So eight attacks, hitting on threes. All righty. These are going to be strength four, toughness four, right? Uh, yes. Toughness four, so looking for fours to wound. Uh, that is going to be one, two, three, four at AP minus one on all of this. Four, five ups. Uh, making two of them, so two wounds. And then we're going to have uh, three guys going into his Skull Master over here. So these are going to be uh, 12 attacks. Uh, or no, yes, 12 attacks. These are going to be hitting on threes. All righty. These are now going to be wounding on fives because he's T5. Getting one, two, three. Not great, but three. Five ups, makes one, so he takes two wounds. We've got one guy going into Karnak over here. Hitting on threes, that's four hits. A T5, so looking for fives to wound. Uh, getting two wounds. Uh, this, he's got five up invul save. Failed both of them, so he takes two wounds. And then four guys into his other squad of doggos over there, so 16 attacks hitting on threes. Come back to that. And fours to wound. Alrighty, so that is going to be one, two, three, uh, four. Four wounds over here. Five up saves. Making two of them, so another dog is dead. And now his other dog squad's gonna attack in here. 12 attacks hitting on threes. Come back to that. And these are gonna be wounding on threes, strength five. Strength six, actually. Oh, strength six on the charge, so uh, that is gonna be four wounds there. Four, five up invul saves. Uh, making one of them. And now Karnak is going to go attack in here. So he's got how many attacks? Five attacks on, Five the, attacks on the charge here. Twos. Hitting on twos. All right, so that's going to be three hits. Strength? Uh, strength is six. Six, so looking for threes to wound. Getting one wound. Minus two. Five up serve. No, failed it. And now the Skull Master is going to attack in here. So uh, these are going to be hitting on twos. twos. All right, all hits. Wounding on strength seven. Seven, so looking for threes to wound. That is going to be all wounds. So four wounds, four or five up saves. Oh, failed them all. Thank you, baby. And now the Juggernaut's going to attack in. Uh, that's going to be uh, two hits. Strength seven. Strength seven, so threes again. Two more, five up saves. And I failed both of those, and that is the squad wiped. All right, so now the blood letters are going to attack in here. They are going to have uh, two attacks each, right? Yes. So it's going to be 20, attacks 22 attacks, right? 21 for the champion. 23 Ten for the guys, champion. 11 guys. Two attacks each. 11 guys. Oh, 11 guys. Thank you. Yeah, 11 guys here, two attacks each. So that becomes 22 plus one more for the champion. Yep. So it's going to be 23 attacks uh, into my uh, truck over here. These are going to be hitting on threes. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, these are strength six, so these are going to be uh, looking for uh, fours to wound. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so he did uh, five regular wounds and one that does two damage, so it's gonna be seven damage in there. It's AP minus three on their swords, so these are going to be uh, going straight to his rugged construction, which are going to be looking for six ups to ignore. Uh, ignoring one, two of them, so he takes five damage. And now the Blood Master is going to attack in here, hitting on threes. Oh, hitting on twos. That's all hits. Strength seven on the charge here. So this is going to be looking for threes to wound. Sixes do three damage flat. Sixes do three damage. Uh, so getting uh, two wounds, one of which is going to be three. These are AP. Minus three. These are also AP minus three. So three plus D3. So D3. Get another three, so it's going to be six damage total. Six rugged construction. Six rugged construction saves. So I need to make two of these, otherwise he is dead. So uh, looking for uh, up. six up, sirs. Making one of them, so that's still just enough to kill him. Uh, does he explode? No. Does not. All right, so three of my guys, twisted ankles getting out, and that is where we end at. And now the Bloodthirster is going to attack into my Rock Grinder over here. So he's got seven attacks. These are going to be hitting on twos. Again, 
Sixes explode. Sixes explode. Hitting on twos. So, so missing two of those. But gaining two attacks. Uh, but gaining two attacks because of the sixes. So these are now going to be um, strength strength a lot so wounding on twos one second actually going to be wounding on threes over here so uh strength 11 so wounding on threes getting uh one two three four wounds ap minus four so those are going to go straight through d6 damage, d6 damage a piece uh getting six um, 10 15 force. we'll come back to that so we have 15 rugged construction saves here looking for um Six up, showing them Phil first. Uh, nope, just getting the two. So he is dead. Does he explode? He does not. All right, so everyone made it out and then he consolidated into them because I placed them so they could hold that objective. So now he is, uh, I will attack back into him. So we're gonna do the two guys with the heavy rock saw. So it's gonna be four attacks, hitting on threes. That is three hits, strength eight. So looking for threes to wound. Uh, that is going to be two wounds. AP minus four, I believe. So he's got four up in bowl saves. Uh, fails them both. He's going to spend a command point to reroll one. Still misses out. And that is uh, one second. All right, so it's going to be four damage total there. So six up in bowl saves. Uh, or, or, uh, I feel no pains, pain. so, but no, those go through. And then two attacks plus one from the leader for the other guys with their uh, rending claws. Hitting on threes. That one's cocked. All righty, so that's three hits. Wounding on uh, tough seven, yep. tough seven, so fives. Uh, no wounds there. And then the cultist knives, that's two hits, uh, no wounds. All right, so that's the end of turn one. I control this objective because objective secured. Control this objective. My opponent controls that objective, and he controls that objective. So that leaves us at two and two. We both got first strike, so that's a pretty decent first turn there. So we will come back to you after uh, movement phase for the Gene Sealer Cult here. Oh, no, let's roll first to see which one's going to be um, the, the happy-go-fun objective. Uh, it's going to be objective number one, which is the dead center one. Ooh, it's going to be a lot of battle in there. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. Uh, or we'll come back to you after the movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn uh, turn two. two. Movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn two. My Lehman Russ stood still. So did my Armored Sentinel. So did this uh, squad of Acolytes over here. So did this squad of Acolytes over here. And this squad of Acolytes stayed in combat two. Out of Cult Ambush now came my Abominant and my uh, big squad of Hammer Bros. I spent the one command point for Meticulous Uprising, rolled and got a six on one of the two dice. So they, uh, they are within three inches of him over here. These guys came in with the Primus, uh, rolled and got a five. So they came in over there. Uh, he rolled a five on his movement phase, on his uh, D6 move. So he's four inches away over here. And they rolled a six. So they're three inches away from the Doggos. And then my Magus dropped in over here, rolling a four for himself. And that is it for the uh, movement phase. We'll now come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, start off the psychic phase. My Magus is going to cast Might from Beyond onto my uh, Hammer Bros over there. So looking for a seven. Uh, goes off with an eight. My opponent's going to try to deny because of the armor of Scorn. Uh, does with an 11. All right, my Lehman Russ is now going to fire in the shooting phase his two heavy bolters into these dude bros over here, and he's going to fire the uh, battle cannon and the last cannon into the skull cannon back there. So we're going to go with the uh, heavy bolters first, so looking for uh, six attacks here. These are going to be hitting on fours. Uh, okay, all but one hit, pretty good. These are going to be strength five, so looking for threes to wound. Getting one, two, three, four wounds. AP minus one, doesn't care. Five up, invul saves, Make making no. none of them. Okay. And now the battle cannon firing into them over there, into him over there. 2d6 shots. Gonna have five shots. These are going to be hitting on fours. Uh, getting two hits. Strength eight, so threes to wound. That's gonna be two wounds. Uh, AP minus two. One second. So we got two five up saves, uh, makes one, fails one, so D3 damage, three damage. And now the last cannon firing into him on a four. That is not a hit. I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll it. And he get the hit, looking for uh, strength nine, toughness seven. seven, so looking for a three to wound. 
That is a wound. AP minus three, four up, uh, five up evil, and he makes it. All right, so now my armored sentinel is gonna fire his last cannon into him over there. So it's going to be um, hitting on a four. That's a hit. Wounding on a three. No, no wound. This squad's gonna fire its uh, auto pistols into them over there. So we got seven attacks hitting on uh, fours. All right, not bad. These are now going to be wounding on fours because they're T3. Uh, so that is three wounds, three five ups, uh, making one of them. And now this squad's gonna fire their pistols into the big bro over there, uh, hitting on fours, wounding on sixes. Getting one wound, regular save. Oh, wound. Yep, he takes the wound. And now my uh, Primus is gonna shoot his uh, needle pistol into the Bloodmaster over there, so it's gonna be one shot. That is a hit. Always wounds on a two. Ah, ah of course. Sorry. All right, so my, um, my, my Abominant. Abominant is going to charge in the charge phase into him. He does not get any Overwatch because he's engaged in combat. Uh, so here goes his charge. He gets plus one because it's the Anointed Throng. I spent the CP to make their uh, detachment the Anointed Throng, so it's going to be totally in. And the Aberrant's getting plus one to this charge because of his Warlord trait. So it's going to be in with a seven. So now my uh, uh, Aberrants over here are gonna charge into his, uh, his doggos. Uh, they are in. And now these uh, Acolytes are gonna charge into the Blood Letters. They are in. And then my Primus is gonna charge into the Blood Master. He's in. All right, so into the fight phase, we're gonna start with my Hammer Bros. Uh, they're gonna have two attacks each, so it's going to be uh, 14 attacks coming in over here. These are going to be hitting on fours because of the fact that they are unwieldy, but because they're within range of the Abominant, they get to um, every hit roll of a six. Uh, it actually counts as two hits instead of just one. I also spent a command point on um, Fight for the Anointed Throng, which allows them to reroll wound rolls of one. As long as they're, I have to choose them, they had to be within six inches of my Abominant there. So uh, they are going to be uh, it's 14 attacks, hitting on fours, sixes do two attacks, uh, wounding on threes, um, because it's strength times two, so strength 10 to toughness seven, uh, rerolling wound rolls of one. So here we go, 17 attacks. Hitting on fours. Alrighty, getting two sixes. So these two make up for that. The one three misses. So I've got 13 hits here. These are going to be wounding on threes. Rerolling ones. There was only one one there, but into a wound. So that is uh, three there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 wounds here, AP minus uh, whatever. So he's got four up invul saves. Uh, failing one, two, three, four of them. Uh, I'll come back to you in a second. All right, so they were three damage a piece. That's 12 damage onto him. Uh, he has a six up, feel no pain. And he makes a lot of them. He makes four of them. So that means that he takes, uh, he takes eight damage. He's down to two wounds left. All right, so my opponent's gonna spend two CP to interrupt with his Bloodthirster here. So because he's at two wounds left, he's gonna have three attacks. They are going to be hitting on fours. He's gonna attack into my Abominant. Uh, he, because he made uh, those the Feel No Pains, he gets to reroll all uh, hits, hit, failed hits and wounds. So these are gonna be three attacks hitting on fours. He's just very angry. Uh, rerolling, thankfully. Uh, into all hits, see, that's what that reroll helps. Wounding on twos. Uh, all wounds, that's three wounds. What's the damage on those? D6. D6, so we have to do it one at a, oh, I guess we could just do it all at the same it's time. All into him, so. It's all into him, so we'll do it all at the same time because each of these is gonna be minus one because of him being an abominant to a minimum of one. So, so it's gonna be nine, five, ten, six, seven, eight. eight. Eight wounds that are gonna be coming in here. I have a, um, a five up feel no pain on these. So eight of them, he's got uh, five wounds. So I need to make four of these Five ups, otherwise he is dead. I just made four, six ups, so. Here we go. And I made one, so he is dead. Slay the Warlord. Oh, that one really hurts right in the giblets. Uh, so that is Slay the Warlord. All right, so now my other Aberrant squad is gonna attack into his doggos over here. So we're gonna do the pick attacks first. These are gonna be 14 attacks, hitting on, uh, hitting on twos actually because of the Primus being where he is. 
All right, missing two of them. These are now going to be strength user, so strength five, looking for threes to wound. That is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wounds into them. They're AP minus two. Five up in vault, five up in vault regardless here. And then they're going to be D3. Yeah, <laughs> humans is easy. Five ups. Uh, making a lot of them. Ooh, boy. No, you can't woo. That is my thing. Two. So it's going to be Failed two through. go through. So it's going to be two D3. So the first one is uh, one wound, and one then the second one will kill the dog. So now we have another 14 attacks because of the rending clause. So that is uh, going to be, uh, these are also going to be hitting on twos. All righty. Then these are now going to be, again, strength five, so wounding on threes. I think your rending claws might kill more than Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know. Five? So five at AP minus one, five ups. Three. Three. One dead so dog. he makes another dead dog. All right, so now my um, my dude bro is going to, my um, prim Primus is going to attack into his Blood Master. So he's got four attacks hitting on twos. That is all hits. Wounding on twos with the Toxin Injector Claw. Getting three wounds. Five ups. Three five ups. The AP, extra AP. These are AP four, but... He's just got five up saves regardless. Uh, getting one, so it takes two wounds. And then we're gonna go with these guys that charged in over here. So we're gonna go with the guys with the rock saws first. So it's going to be four attacks, hitting on twos because of within six inches of the Primus. So that's all hits, wounding on twos. That is one, two, three, four wounds. Five up invul saves. Uh, making two, three of them, one dead. And now the 11 attacks from the claws going in over here, hitting on, uh, hitting on twos. All right, pretty good. Wounding on th uh, threes, because they're tough three, right? Yeah. Strength four, tough three. So that is going to be uh, two, four, six, seven wounds. Seven five ups. Making one, one of them, so six more dead. And then we have the uh, Colt uh, knives here. So these are going to be five attacks hitting on twos. Okay. Wounding on threes. Getting two wounds, two five ups. Did Jinx Healer hit on threes rolling? What's up? They hit on threes yeah. rolling? That's two five ups. Oh, that is two made. And then we've got my guys over here into his bloodthirst. So we're going to go with the guys with the um, saws first. So it's going to be four attacks hitting on threes. Getting two hits. Wounding on threes. No, nope, they're not. That is one wound. Four up. Uh, four up. Invul save made. And then the claws. Uh, seven attacks over here uh, hitting on uh, threes. All right, these are now going to be wounding on fives. Getting one wound, AP minus uh, one, so four up in bowl save. He's good. good. And then the three cultist knife attacks, getting two hits, getting one wound, three up armor save. One wound? Yeah, he's good. All right, so now the dogs are gonna swing back at my aberrants over here. So we've got uh, two attacks each, right? Yep. Or no, three, three attacks because each. You charged me. Because I charged you. Yep. That made a difference. Okay, just so that's gonna be turn of combat. Yeah, three hits there. Uh, strength. Three, uh, strength six. Six. So threes to wounds. That's three wounds there. Yep. AP one. minus one. So it's gonna be three six up saves. Making none of them. One damage, one damage a piece. So five up. Feel no pains. Making one of them, so one guy's dead. All right, so now his guy over here is going to attack back into me, the Blood Master. So he's gonna have how many attacks? Four attacks. Four attacks, hitting on twos. Uh, so that's gonna be three hits. Strength seven. Strength seven, so looking for twos to wound. That is three that's wounds. nine damage. Nine damage there, so I'm gonna try to uh, look out, sir, those nine damage there because of unquestioning loyalty. So I have to do it, I think, one at a time to see if he uh, survives for it. Well, he's got one second. No one's actually close enough for unquestioning loyalty, so he is dead. And now the bloodletters get to attack back, so they're gonna have uh, five total attacks against me. Threes. Hitting on threes. Okay. All right, so that's four hits. 
These are strength six. six. Say six? Yeah. Okay. Even though they didn't charge? Four base, you charged me, five. Okay. Carol so six. even if they if I charge, it still counts for their mm -hmm. buff as well. So these are going to be uh, strength six, so looking for uh, twos to wound. Three dead. Uh, three dead. Nine. All right, so the end of the turn here, I do have, uh, over here, I lost uh, three guys, so three plus one, they're good to go on leadership. Over here, running. anything but a one, and these guys are running. Oh, they are really out of there. Um, and then I think we have one more over yeah. here. They lost four guys this yeah, turn. So, so five four. Or six, they lose guys. Five or one, they reinforce. six. On a two, nothing happens. They're good to go. All right, and that is it for the uh, the Gene Sealer Cult turn here on turn two. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the, um, the corn. corn demons here on turn two. All right, movement for corn demons here on turn two. Uh, these dude bros moved up over here. His flying demon prince moved up over this way. His uh, bloodthirster fell back out of combat. These guys, uh, these other dogs are getting ready to char char join in on the charge over there. Same thing with his skull master. Karnak's over here looking on these dude bros. And his uh, blood master is over there sitting on that objective. Out of deep strike came his 30 man blob over here and his other blood master. So that, uh, and the, and the uh, skull cannon stood still back there. So that is gonna be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, starting off, he is gonna use Lash into these guys over here. One shot. Getting one shot. One chance to blow. That's, That's a hit. hit. Uh, Strength what? Seven. Strength seven, so looking for a two to wound. That is a wound. Minus three. Eight minus three, dead guy. All right, so the first skull cannon is gonna fire into my aberrants over here. It's gonna get one shot. Woo! That is not a hit. Second one's gonna do the same thing with five shots this time. It's a little bit better. These are now going to be uh, hitting on threes, right? Yes. Yeah, that's all hits, so that's five hits. Strength, uh, eight. eight, so looking for twos to wound. That is five wounds. Minus two. AP minus two, so those are gonna go straight through. They also ignore what are their damage? D3. D3 damage, so we gotta do this uh, one, at one at a time. So the first one, is gonna be, uh, well, no, not necessarily, it's two damage. So he's got two five up invul saves. Feeling the pains, uh, nope, so that is gonna be a dead guy. The next one uh, is gonna do two damage down to one damage. Uh, so he takes one damage, so the next one three is gonna be three damage, five up, ignoring, nah, making one of them, so that's still a dead guy. Yep, that's uh, gonna be three damage onto this one who makes only one, so that's another dead guy. Three dead so far, and the last one. And the last one's gonna do three damage, uh, which I only make one, so that's another dead guy. Demon Prince is gonna fire the Warp Bolter at the Aberrants over here. So that's going to be re-rolling the one because of himself. Yep. Not meant to be. T4. So uh, strength four, toughness uh, four, yep. Four. So four to wound, that is a wound. For two damage. AP minus one, so six up save. Nope, but then uh, two damage, which goes down to one damage, so five up, ignoring. Nope, takes it. All right, into um, into the uh, assault phase. My uh, his uh, blood letters here, the ones that dropped in, are going to charge into my Lehman Russ and my Magus. So I'm going to fire Overwatch with my Lehman Russ first. So we got the uh, heavy bolters first, getting two hits, getting one wound. That's a good guy. And then we've got the uh, last cannon. Nope. nope. And then we've got the uh, battle cannon. It's going to have two shots. Getting one hit. That is a wound. That that's is not a save. So that's a dead blood letter. Uh, so he's going to activate the uh, the banner of blood, uh, which is three d six charge. So he's looking for a nine inches on the three d six charge. Eight inches because they have the musician, which is plus one. And then what, however much in the magus. We'll yeah. Figure that out in a second. Does not. But I make can reroll for my herald. Guess uh, one second. All right. So rerolling because of the uh, the blood master over here. Uh, that will get him in. Yeah. And now these blood letters are going to charge into my aberrants. They They're it. in. All right, the demon prince is going to charge into my regular guys over here. So fire and overwatch. Getting no hits. So he's charged. Uh, one second. All right, looking for a six inch charge. He is in. And Karnak is going to charge into my regular acolytes over there. Getting one hit. Getting a wound. Making a save, and his charge distance He's is in. in. Skullmaster is going to charge into the aberrants. He is in. The dogs are going to charge into the aberrants, and they're in. 
All right, so we're gonna start over here with the big old blood letter bomb. So we're gonna have the three guys into my magus. So uh, they're gonna have two attacks each. Hitting on twos. Hitting on twos because there's 20. more than 20. That's all hits. All right, that's all hits, that's six oh, hits. Oh no, hits. one miss, sorry, five hits. Strength six. Strength six, so looking for twos to wound. Uh, that is four, four wounds. wounds. Minus three. Minus three, he is dead. And now the blood letters are gonna attack into my Lehman Russ over here. So we're gonna go with, uh, there's, what is it, 40, 45. 45 attacks are gonna be coming in uh, from these guys over here. So we're gonna do the first 25. These are gonna be hitting on twos. Come back to you with that. All right, and these are gonna be wounding on fives because of uh, the toughness. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so we have nine one damage ones, AP minus three, so six up saves. Making two of those, so that's going to be uh, two, four, six, seven damage to him so far. And then one, two damage one, which I failed on that one. So that's gonna be nine damage total, so leaving me at two wounds so far. And the other 20 attacks coming in here, hitting on twos. All right, these are now going to, again, wounding on fives. All right. Four two damage ones. So four two damage ones. Let's even see if it matters. Ones. So four two damage ones. I need to make all these or he's dead. He is definitely dead. Does so explode? does he explode? That is the big question. No, he does not. All right, the blood letters are going to now attack into my aberrants. So we've got uh, 11 attacks coming from them. Hitting on threes. Not as good. All right. Strength uh, six, right? Uh, five. Strength they're five. Not in range of a herald. So not in range of a herald. So strength five. So still looking for threes. Getting one, two, three, four. Three. Uh, uh you draw my damage. So that's just four. Yeah. So it's going to be four there. Uh, these are going to go straight through the armor. So this is into five up in vols. Uh, five up. Feel no pains. And I made two of them, so one guy is dead. All right, the Demon Prince now is going to attack into my dude bros over here. Eight attacks here on the charge. Hitting on twos, re-rolling because of himself. All right, those are all hits. Strength? Uh, seven. Seven, so twos to wound. That is going to be all dead. All right, the Skull Master is going to go first over here. So he's going to be hitting on uh, th twos. All right, so that's all but one. That's uh, three hits. Strength? Uh, six. Six, seven. so seven, threes to wound. Uh, no, no wounds. And now the attacks from the Juggernaut. That's going to be two hits. Strength seven, so looking for threes to wound. Getting one wound. AP minus one, so six up save. Nope, goes through. Damage, one damage, so five up. Ignoring. Nope, takes a wound. And now the Duggos that charged over here. These are going to be uh, hitting on threes. Yeah. Wounding on threes. All righty. Four minus one. So we got four AP minus one. So we've got four six up serves. Making none of them. One damage a piece. So five up. Ignoring wounds. Ignoring one of them. So now another two guys will be dead. And then the doggos that didn't charge only having two attacks each, so there's four attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on threes. That is going to be one wound, six up save, no, five up, ignoring wound, no. So now Karnak is going to attack in here, so he's got five attacks, hitting on twos. All right, wounding on twos. Uh, what's the AP on these? I think it's minus two. Minus two. Minus two, so they are dead. All right, so now my aberrants are gonna attack back. Two are gonna go into his juggernaut over here. So it's two attacks uh, each, so hitting on threes. Okay, getting two hits. Strength five, toughness four, so threes to wound. T5, T5, so fours to wound. All right, that's two wounds. AP minus two. Five up invul saves. Making one, failing one, D3 damage. Uh, takes one damage. And then they've got four attacks with their rending claws. That is going to be three hits. That is one wound, AP minus one. Uh, so he takes a wound. And then the two into the two man doggo squad. That is going to be one hit with the, with the picks. That is a wound. That's cocked. That's super cocked. And that is a save. And then they've got their four attacks with their claws. 
Getting one hit. Getting no wound. And then these guys are gonna attack into them over there. Two attacks each, fours. Uh, getting two hits. Wounding on twos. That is one wound. That is not a save, so that's a dead guy. Yep. And then my opponent's gonna spend his last three CP for his Juggernaut Herald here to attack into my Aberrants again. So he's gonna have, uh, what is it, attacks. four attacks here. Hitting on threes. Two. Oh, hitting on twos, that's right, sorry. My bad. So that's all hits. Yep. Strength uh, six. Se six, so looking for threes seven. to wound. Seven. seven, still threes to wound. Yeah. Uh, so there's gonna be three, three wounds. Minus three for D3. Three minus three for D3. So that's uh, the minus, uh, that's five. gonna go straight through, so the first time. Is gonna do one damage, so five up. Uh, makes Good. that one. There we go. Next one. It's one doing damage. one damage. Making that one. Come on. Come on. Three, Three for this one. Make all of these ones. No, that one finally uh, gets, gets the, the guy got, dead. Please. And then the juggernaut's attacking back. So he's gonna have yes. three hits. Three's to wound. Three's to wound. Uh, that's gonna be one wound. Minus one. AP minus one, so six up. Nope, one five up. No. All right, leadership tests. My guys lost five guys over there. Five plus two is seven. I think they're good to go. And these guys over here lost uh, three. Three plus two is five. They are good to go. Uh, do you have any tests to take? Nope, I don't think so. Uh, brutal turn there for Korn. Uh, so at the end of the turn, uh, my opponent gets two points for holding this one. Um, he here. also has one over there, and he has one over here. So he gets three points. I get one point. Uh, so pretty, pretty brutal. Um, oh, he does have to take a leadership over here. So he does. So he gets, he gets his one guy back over there. Pretty brutal. And then over here, these guys, do they reinforce? They do not. So, uh, But their leadership is more than six, so they're good to go. All right, so that is it for the uh, demon's turn here on turn uh, two. We'll come back to you after movement phase for Gene Stealer Cult, turn three. See which one activates. It's gonna be four. All right, movement phase. I'm not moving. He's gonna stay still, they're gonna stay still, they're gonna stay in combat, they're gonna stay in combat. So we'll come back now. We'll just actually move straight into the shooting phase. He's gonna fire into his um, into his bloodthirst over there, hitting on a four. That is not a hit. All right, my guys over here are gonna attack into the two-man doggo squad in the fight phase, because no one's gonna charge, hitting on uh, threes. All right, getting uh, three hits. Wounding on uh, toughness four. Yes. So f uh, threes to wound. What? And then their, uh, their claw attacks. That's gonna be five hits. That is gonna be four wounds. AP minus, uh, well, it doesn't make a difference. Five up saves. Making three of them, wow. And now the blood letters are gonna attack into my aberrants over here. So uh, they're gonna have five, uh, eight attacks, right? Five attacks. Uh, five oh, attacks, no, oh, because they didn't charge. So it's gonna be five attacks over here. Hitting on uh, threes. One second. All right, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because of the demon prince. All right, re-rolling that one. Nope. All right, not meant to be. So it's gonna be three hits. Nope. These are gonna strength be strength four. four. So looking for um, fours to wound. Getting two wounds, yep. uh, AP minus three, so those are gonna go straight through, so five up, ignoring wounds. Ignoring one of them, so one guy's dead. And then he's gonna swing back, getting no hits. And then over here, we're gonna go with the Blood Master first, uh, Skull, Skull Master, Master, Skull Master, so many Masters, uh, hitting on twos, Master. so that's gonna Master. be three hits. Three. Wounding on threes, that is three wounds. AP minus three, right? Yep. So let's go through D3 damage, right? So, first one. so the first one is okay. gonna do two damage. So it's minus one. I think I forgot about that, but it still uh, the kills the guy with the one wound there. And then we've got the next one. Uh, three. Damage. So again, two. It's going to kill the next guy. And the last one. And the last one. one. One damage. And he is going to take a wound. And then the Juggernaut's attacks. All That's all hit. Three. Three's wound. Getting one wound. Minus one. AP minus one, so six up. Nope. Five up. No, he did. All right, that's it for the Gene Stealer Cult turn here. Uh, he didn't lose enough to fail leadership. Uh, so that is going to be it. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for uh, the demons here on turn three. All right, movement phase. These guys moved up over this way. His flying demon prince also moved up. These guys, uh, these guys fell out of combat with my lone 
aberrant and then uh, consolidated on the objective in the middle there with, uh, with uh, Dubro over here. Um, those are not his. This guy moved up over this way. They also moved up over this way. These guys all moved over there to jump onto the objective. He jumped on the objective here. He jumped on the objective here and the skull cannon back there stayed still. So that is gonna be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, he's gonna lash out at the aberrant over here. So D6 shots. D3 shots. Oh, D3 shots, so three shots. Fours. On fours to hit. Getting two hits. Strength. Uh, seven. Seven, so looking for threes to wound. That is one, one wound. wound. Minus three. AP minus three, so that's just gonna go straight through. D3. D3 damage. Doing two damage down to one damage. And he takes it. Buildings just and yeah, this skull cannon in the front there is gonna shoot into this guy over here. Four shots. So that's four shots. Four is because he moved. Four is because he moved. Uh, that is three hits. And twos to wound. Twos to wound, because strength eight. So that is going to be two wounds. AP. D3 damage each. AP minus two. two. So it's gonna go straight through. D3 damage each. So it's gonna be uh, so it's gonna be two three, three damage, damage. total five ups. Nope, he takes all of it. And his other skull cannon that stood still back there is going to fire into my sentinel with three shots, hitting on threes because he didn't move. Uh, that is all hits. Strength eight, so looking for threes to wound. That is two, two wounds, wounds. Minus two, ignoring cover. AP minus two, ignoring cover. I don't think he gets it because he's not on top here. Uh, so AP minus two, so looking for five up saves. Making none of them. D3 damage apiece. Uh, three damage. And then his Demon Prince is going to shoot the Warp Bolter into my Sentinel. Getting no hits, but rerolling because of himself. Getting still no hits. And now Karnak is going to charge in the Assault Phase into my Cultus over here. They're going to shoot at him in Overwatch. Getting no hits. His charge distance uh, six inches should be in. Bloodletters are going to charge into my Sentinel over here. Overwatch, no hit. So their charge distance, looking for an 8 inch charge. No rerolls, though. No rerolls on this one, so it's going to be two dice, looking for eight. Seven inch for the musician. Seven inches because of the musician. Oh, they are way in. Okay. And now his Demon Prince is going to charge into my Cultus over here. Uh, eight, eight inches will get him in. All right, so now his blood letters here are going to attack into my sentinel. So we got 22 attacks that are coming in here. These are going to be hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones because of the demon prince there. That one, That's one. the one one. Cool. Into a hit. These are now going to be strength six, uh, strength right? Five. Oh, strength five. So, five so he needs uh, strength five. So he's going to have fives to wound into my armored sentinel over here. Oof, That's more than enough. Plenty, and there's yeah. AP minus three though, right? Minus three, and the sixes so, do double damage. Sixes so. do double damage. So, well, let's see the sixes first. So we'll do yeah. one, two, four, minus three. Four minus threes. Uh, these are for double damage. These are going to be looking for six ups. Uh, no, I made zero of them, so he is Does dead. He Does he explode? Blood. Nope, can't even do that. Some of them. And now the demon prince into my dude bros here. Eight attacks hitting on twos. Rerolling ones because of himself. All right, these are now going to be strength at least six, so wounding on twos. Uh, those are all going to be AP at least minus two, so he they are dead. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be a corn demon victory. I know technically the uh, yeah technically the um, the uh, it's the it's not the end of the game technically because he he uh, tabled me because sudden death rule is not in effect for these missions. But uh, I think he was up on me anyway in points, and then now he holds every single objective on the board. So he will then gain all those points this turn, and then we would have to roll out for the rest of the turns. Uh, yeah, victory. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, so a, a, a heck of a victory there for the uh, for, for the demons uh, taking over this planet, not leaving. Uh, they're probably not going to leave anything for the Tyranids once they arrive. They're going to get there. There's going to be, like, one cultist left that's like, yo, dogs, you should have been here, like, like two weeks earlier, this place was great, but now nothing. <laughs> uh, so nothing for the Tyranids to consume with the uh, with them just turning into warp mush uh, when they die. So yeah, not a not a good place to be for the for the high fleet that's going to be arriving, expecting to have a gene stealer cult here uh, drawing them. So. Um, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I certainly have. I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent's been Harrison. Until next time, have fun.